right, well, we're going to do an unboxing video of this Prime Fish um, product, and they are IQF Frozen Opelio Crab Leg. And uh, they've been completely deshelled. So we're going to open this up and take a look and see what they gave us. So we crack this open, and get the cover, and we open it up. And there is some nice pamphlets here. It's like all kinds of, uh, looks like they got some, what they got recipes or, or uh, serving suggestions. Actually kind of a nice pamphlet that they give you with this. 25, I think 25 pages long. It's pretty impressive. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. And now they give us a Lux pack. That looks like a mini poster. Interesting. Guess I want like a crab poster in my office. I don't know I want a crab poster in my office, but there you go. And this is the bill of sale. So we got uh, snow crab meat. And it is, by the way, I paid $310 for that, including ship, or the shipping was built into the, the cost of the thing. I mean, you can get smaller packages, I think for like 80 bucks for a single pound, um, but I decided to go for the four pound. So let's see how the inside of this cooler looks. Okay, you crack the cooler open. You got another package. It's all, by the way, really cold now. This is like, this stuff is like freezing, frozen solid. And it's IQF individually quick frozen right and you get uh, with an order this big at $310 they give you some compound butter it says Chesapeake Bay butter and it's got made with uh, oh it's got it's comp it's actually got spices in the butter or in, with celery salt and Narragansett Bay spice blend and you get two big ice packs This is crab seasoning, like, like little McCormick type things. And the four pounds of crab meat. Now you can see how well this stuff is frozen, okay? Frozen on the boat, each piece is frozen individually, and these are one pound packages. And this is quite a lot of meat. And what I understand, this is like 12 clusters worth of crab legs per pound, per pound, right? Because you're taking off all that shell and they're deshelling it. And these are large pieces, right? These are not the little itty bitty, you know, stringy pieces. These are the big pieces of crab. So this is a Opelio snow crab uh, harvested in Canada, um, which I assume is from the Bering Strait, you know, like off of Vancouver, right? So this looks really good. I think we're gonna make like a pasta with this tonight. Okay, so according to the instructions, um, I've taken, in this case, I've only taken half of a bag. I mean, between me and my wife, that's enough to make a nice pasta dish that's about eight or nine ounces of, uh, of the crab meat. And I've got a fr ice pack here with some cold water, and I put it in a bowl, and that'll accelerate the defrost process. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge, so when we make our pasta for dinner, it'll be ready to go. Um, they also say you can go just 12 hours in a bowl. So we did some initial defrost and we're following the directions to soak it to get any additional fishiness and iciness off. And then we're gonna roll it out in paper towels to dry it according to the instructions. Taking the, the pieces now out of the water and we're just kind of getting the moisture off of it. Or rather we're getting the whatever stuff off of it and then we're gonna roll it in these paper towels to dry it off. Putting it on the paper towels. <coughs> and I guess what, we're gonna roll it up? We will gently lay it out in a single layer. Rolling it up before we put it in pasta. Right now that it's been rolled out on the paper towels, I'm just gonna put this down in the fridge before we're ready to use it in the pasta. Got some parsley here. Got to shred up some zucchinis. Again, a bide. Zucchini. Compound butter with spices in it. 
this is right there on the top. Oh, cream, narragansett, base, spice blend, celery, salt, and yeah, cold compound juice. butter. Got it. Big thing of butter. Compound. All right, got the compound butter. Going in with the corn. You turn down a little bit lower, a little bit of parsley going in here. Just cutting up another piece of butter there. We're just going to go in. Just let it sit here. It doesn't need to get stirred with the seasoning to it. Yeah, this seasoning will be working. That'll be good. Did you add some? No, I didn't add any. I don't think we need to add salt content until we taste the pasta at the end. Good. That'll work. Put the tomatoes in there. Yeah. And then when the one minute add the zucchini, we'll take the crab out and put it in here. Do right. you want to cut the crab? Uh, yeah, we'll cut up a little bit. So the pasta. All right, pasta is boiling up. It's been salted water in it. It's on his fingers. Okay. The zucchini is going in with the spaghetti. We're going to have zucchini and spaghetti together in this dish. Pasta order, which I've done before. There we go. It's done. All right. Moment of truth. The tasting of the crab pasta. Try that. Look at a nice big chunk of crab there. That looks really good. I definitely think eating using this ingredient is probably better than eating it straight up. The defrosted, you gotta saute it, you gotta get the water out of it. No, 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 but you gotta get the water out of it. Um, you know, you'd have to saute it about a bit in the, in the butter, the spices. It's excellent. I mean, you, you would spend a fortune on this pasta. Mm. It's not too salty, it's good. I mean, this is a good product. Um, definitely you want to, you know, defrost it properly, get the raw, get the drain it, get the water out, and and, and season it. Uh, but it's, it's it's a good quality crab meat for sure. Thumbs up. I'm prime fish. 